Welcome back guys. So it's been a while since I posted a video. I'll explain that at the end of this video why I haven't been posting recently. Um, and we're back at it. So today we have a bunch of news including new Nolgath class being confirmed. Uh, yeah, a lot of things being confirmed about it. Let's talk about that and other news in this video. Let's go. What's going on? Okay, so first things first, your Flash player needs an update. You definitely should. Uh, it's getadobe.com slash Flash player. Go there, update your Flash player, uh, clear your cache and all that stuff after you do it, of course. Uh, it fixes the slow connection and increased login time issues. So definitely want to do that. I tested it out and it seemed to be loading a lot faster in Adventure Quest Worlds and I guess it was uh, Flash player's fault, not Adventure Quest, which does make sense. Um, also on the testing server there's a double boost so if you need any class points, XP, anything like that, go get it on the testing server. I might farm a little bit of gold on there. Just get my gold balance up a little bit. Um, so you can go on the testing server and do that. Definitely the best way to get any of the, uh, anything for XP, rep, all that stuff. So go on the testing server and do that. So make sure you update your flash player guys. Uh, the event tomorrow, this weekend. Very, very cool event, Friday the 13th, uh, mixed with sort of like chaos, I guess. Um, so that should be a cool event. Here's some items from the event. I love the little tiny top hat and uh, the hairstyle. There's an alternate hairstyle for that also that I should be... What well, Actually, the alternate hairstyle is right there on Elena's character. Forgot to point that out there. So yeah, there's a really cool top hat. Can't wait to get that gonna be awesome um here's what it looks like the first room of the map will look like or maybe one of the uh, starting rooms in the map and of course you're heading up into the castle j6 does all that so lake and arts just sent me a preview of the latest work in progress to be released during next friday's release friday the 13th uh so lakin isn't officially working for Arctic entertainment anymore or at least he won't be this uh, i think starting this friday uh, he's not working for Artix Entertainment anymore, so this will be maybe one of his last items in Adventure Quest World, so you might want to pick it up if you're a fan. Here's the character page, Reen's character page, with, uh, the brand new, uh, brand new items on it. So the Chaos Eye moves there, you got the golden <laughs> tooth, like vampire tooth. Very, very cool, very nice, very detailed armor, I like it. And I think we've seen this hairstyle before, but I don't know... I think it was different like it didn't have so much green in it before something like that It looks a little bit different and it actually might be the old hairstyle I doubt it though because it's got Kem's cha or yeah Kem's chaotic twin tails is the name of that so here's also some new male items um, Including I think that's a cape the gold part is a cape I think actually it probably isn't Unless it's just got a different name and a new armor of course there so Z is working on a brand new blade. Uh, it's a work in progress. This is not the finished blade, uh, so it might look a bit different. Um, it looks very cool, and it could be for what I'm about to show you. Well, not well, soon. Uh, before I show you what it could be for, um, so Mickey Mouse sort of inspired, I guess, the Twilly hats on Twilly. Um, Arctic says, uh, if you read the comments down here, he says it's for a Hero Mart item for Mulgan hats. They're, they're putting on Hero Mart. So I might have to pick myself up one of those. It sounds pretty cool. Mulligan hats. And this is supposed to be like an in-game item you get when you buy the Mulligan hats off Hero Mart. So that's really interesting. And I can't wait to see what the Mulligan hats look like on Hero Mart. He is what everyone came to the video for, I'm guessing. Yeah, that's my lisp right there. All right, so go to the notes, which I already have open right now. Uh, Where's the design notes? Right here. And we scroll down. Here is the post on the Nolgath birthday. So, um, if you go to his Patreon account, which I will do very quickly. So, if you go there, uh, he's taking one of his most popular sets from his Patreon account and handcrafting an AQ Worlds virgin. So, that should be cool. Um, there's a lot of not safe for work stuff on his Patreon account. So, if you go there, uh, be warned. Uh, that's why I didn't really show the video. Uh, you know, we keep it sort of family friendly on the channel, sort of. Uh, except a new bank pet, and this is uh, this is the exciting part: Nolgath resource farming pet. 
That's what I'm most excited for. I'm actually more excited for that than the class, to be honest. Actually, I'm probably equally excited for that in the class. The class is going to be really cool, but a new Nongath resource farming pet, if it's good, I'm going to be happy. I'll review the pet so you guys can save some money if you want to see if it's better than like the ones you can get for free in game, like the Nongath larvae and stuff like that. Um, also, I'll review it before, uh, so when it comes out so you guys can see if it's good or not. Uh, new farming class coming soon. Uh, last year we released the Rare Abyssal Angel, which I have. We also said we would have a Nogath based farming class coming. At long last, the time is almost here. Designed by Sync, the class will be permanently available and require a lot, a whole lot of farming. Uh, so stock up on the diamonds under identify 13th and prepare for a new resource or two. This baby is going to be a fun one. So the whole lot, and then a lot, and then a whole lot uh, back to back, uh, leads me to believe that the leaked, uh, or not leaked, but kind of like I don't know what the what they call them. I'll show it on screen here. So these requirements, uh, the on the design notes they speak about new requirements and a lot of diamonds and others unidentified thirteens. So these could actually be true. Uh, there's a good chance. I mean, there could be a changed version because there's no mention of like claw or well, they wouldn't mention all the stuff, but uh, basically you just want to farm a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, like just more, more Nogath items than you ever farmed before. Just farm it all and uh, you definitely want to get those resources now because you're probably going to have to farm even more once the class actually comes out because there'll be new resources to farm once that comes out. So... Uh, we will be adding some items from this from this game from Oversoul uh, to the existing Nogath area quests as new rewards. That's actually really interesting. So, like jug item, will there be a new juggernaut item of Nogath? Maybe. Okay, that'd be cool. And uh, just a little bit of uh, information about the Patreon down there. And that's about it. So, for the news, actually, we do have a few more, a few more little things. Um. AQ3D, and now I want to quickly do a little AQ3D thing, and then I'll talk about why I haven't posted videos for the whole week, basically. Uh, so, new hairstyles coming to AQ3D, working on some new hairs. They look very cool. I actually really like the AQ3D uh, character design. Alright, so other than hair, there's actually going to be more stuff added to AQ3D. Um, so, there's a Christmas event right now. If you haven't played that, you probably want to hop on, or Frostfell event. Excuse me. Uh, so you hop on. It's a bunch of new gear for the Christmas event. Or for, why do I keep saying Christmas? But for the Frostfell event, and it's still in game. It should be in game for a while longer. So if you want to hop on, do the dungeon there. They had a new dungeon and stuff for the Frostfell event. Uh, there's also, I haven't even looked at this once. Uh, there's a brand new bank. So you can now store items. You get 30 if you're a non or a non, whatever they call it in this game, uh, non guardian. Uh, but if you are a guardian, you get 40, and if you're a dragon guardian, you get 50 uh, per bank slot. You start off with one, and you can add more for 900 dragon crystals each. The price is the same no matter what tier you are. Um, and that adds uh, 30, 40, or 50, respectively, more slots depending on uh, what tier you are. So you can click and then move. Oh, all these capes I've been carried in my inventory forever. Oh. Oh my god. Yaz, get out of my inventory. Perfect. Alright, so you can get all that stuff out of your inventory finally. And uh, probably some other stuff too that like I don't need. Like that stuff that I'm not leveled for at the moment. It's just stuff that you can store now. Oh, so good. So the banks work now and if you were having trouble with inventory space, you have 30 extra slots. If you have not paid any money in the game... So it's an extra 30 slots you have on top of the 30 inventory slots you have by default. So you now technically have about 60 inventory space to save items in AQ3D. I thought I'd throw it in at the end just in case anyone uh, didn't realize that the bank was there. Because, you know, whatever. Um, so that is all for today. Why I haven't uploaded this week? Uh, so basically, that's why I put this at the end. Pretty boring, but my power supply on my computer died. So... Fun stuff, you know, it's fun troubleshooting PC issues, so I had to take the old one out, uh, I'm gonna ship it back, I ordered a new one, brand new 850 watt, gold, best that I could buy power supply, well the best anyone could buy power supply, it's like a top tier one power supply, very good, 
best you could buy for your money basically got a good deal on it i'm happy so i got a new power supply on my computer it works well and uh that's about why i wasn't posting because my computer wouldn't work so got that fixed very quickly new egg has very good shipping if you're buying pc parts buy them off new egg uh i got the got them shipped to my house in like three days and that's not normal shipping so very good um so that's why i haven't been posting this week is because my computer died so fun stuff and I'll continue. Uh, we'll have a stream tomorrow at 3.30 Pacific Standard Time for Adventure Quest Worlds. Actually, it might be earlier. If they're putting out the event earlier, I'll probably stream earlier. Uh, expect that around noon if it's out earlier. Uh, other than that, guys, thank you for watching this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.